In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your Amazon Fire TV stick isn't updating. So the first thing I recommend you do is head on over to the settings cogwheel where the profile picture is. From here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to network. Now, when your Fire Stick isn't updating, it's either one of two issues. Either it's your Wi-Fi internet not working or it's a storage issue. So select your Wi-Fi network and press the pause play button. We're going to be running a speed test to just figure out how fast our network download speed is relative to what it's supposed to be. So I have 100 megabytes down and 30 up, so it should be somewhere around there just to ensure that it's working. Now, if there's a big discrepancy between what you have and what it shows, or it's just, you know, running incredibly slow, it's laggy, whatever have you, I recommend you turn off your TV, unplug it, and do the same thing with your router. So unplug your router for about 60 seconds, same thing goes for your TV, plug them back in, turn it on, and see if that fixes the issue. Now it seems like everything's fine here for the network speed, so we're now going to go back because this could be a storage issue. And once we get back here to settings, what we're going to go to next is applications. From here we're going to scroll down, and I recommend you have automatic offload turned on. This is going to save you some storage space and you won't even know that it's on. Next, we're going to go to Manage Installed Apps. So you'll see the internal space. I have 3.6 gigabytes used of 5.3 gigabytes. Now for Amazon updates, I believe on average, it's around 500 megabytes according to Amazon support. So you need that much internal space, which I do, but you may not. So in that case, go to Manage Installed Applications. Once we're here, you're gonna see all your different apps some of which you can uninstall, like you'll see right here, by pressing the play pause button. And you can also clear cache for any of, the, any of these applications as well. So let's say I wanted to clear the cache on, I don't know, the Fire TV player. All you need to do is press the rewind button and then go to confirm and it's gonna clear some storage. Now I know that wasn't a lot. I don't have really any apps downloaded on this TV just yet, but it can add up to a lot between uninstalling stuff by pressing the pause play button uh, and clearing the cache on all the different apps and applications. So once you've deleted or uninstalled some of these apps, cleared the cache, you'll more than likely have enough space to install this update as well as, you know, having tested your network to ensure that it's working properly. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.